Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I will start a new session. It's about how you can customize your catalog admin menu. For finding out the catalog admin menu, you have to log in your dashboard area. Then there is a catalog. And now there have a the lot of the options on here. I will discuss each and everything one by one with live example. So let's start with the categories. How you can create the category and subcategory in your store. When you install the open cut theme, we get by default some of the categories on here. The, you can see there is actually all, some of the categories also on, added on here. Categories, there is a subcategories on here. So how you can, if you want to create some of the new categories for your store, how you can actually create this category. And I will show you that things with the live example. First category is very much important. You can see you can categorize your product with different category and subcategories. So how you can create the categories. For creating the category, you have to choose the categories. So click on the categories. And in the categories, there all that by default categories is display on here. I hope you can well understand about it. So that's all the categories is display on here. Okay. So in the demo data is also included onto this area. So that is the vertical menu. That is the mega menu. How you can add the things. I will discuss that things later. So that's all the category and the subcategory. Okay. But now there's a display on here. For now, if you want to create a new categories for your store, then click on the add new. But now in the general, there is a category name. And you can see they have by default two languages. There is Arabic and the English. So we don't need this Arabic right now. I will discuss that things later. Like if you want to remove this multi language from your store, then you have to click on the system. And in the system, the localization. And in the localization, you can find out the language on here. So that is the language. Click on here. And in the language, there is the Arabic. So English is the by default. So we don't need this one. I just select this one and click on the delete. Okay, I will discuss that things later. For now, is Arabic is not important for me. So here I just add only one language that is the English. So it's okay with me. Now go to the categories again. And in the categories, click on the new one. And now you can see there is only one language is added on here. So I hope you can understand about it. First of all, that is the category name. So what kinds of category you want to create for your store. For education purpose, here is the list. Like there is the main category I just want to create for my store. There is a main category. There is the main category, subcategory. Okay. And then that is actually the sub subcategory of the man's t-shirt. So if you know about this category, all the options, then I hope you can well understand about it. Then how the things exactly work. Like I just want to create some of the categories as a t-shirt. So I just copy it and paste that things on here. So that will be our main category. Okay. So if you want to put some of the descriptions about related this t-shirt, then you can put some of the description on here. So there is a text editor for the open card. It's very much interactive. You can put whatever you want. You can bold it. You can underline it. So there is a font size. You can also choose the font style from here. Okay. You can also create the table. You can put some of the link. You can add some of the picture. And there are also the source code is like if you want to add some of the HTML code on here, then you can use this source code. OK, so it's OK with me. But now I just don't want to put any description for particular this category. It's OK. So now there are the meta tag title. So this required. So meta tag title is very much important. So I just for education purpose, I am adding that things with the same way. And now they have the meta tag description and the meta tag keyword. So when they discuss about the SEO, there's two function is working for the SEO for better search engine optimization for all the search engine. So when I discuss about the SEO, then I will discuss about that things. So what is exactly the meta description or the meta tag keyword? Okay. But now there is the main category down there the data. So now they have the parents and we don't need to add any parents option here because we just want to make that things as a mother. OK, so now there is the filter option. So when I discuss about the filter, then it should be very much clear to you. Then the e-store for now we are adding the default. OK, so if you have multi store, then you can actually select your restore from here. So if you want to add some of the picture for your specific this category, you can select this one from here. All right, then there is the top. So if you select as a top, then it should be visible on the mega menu. So I will also show you how you can add this menu in your mega menu option area. When I discuss about the mega menu, when I discuss about the vertical menu, so how you can add that things on your vertical menu or the mega menu. I will discuss that things later. But now we just created the categories and now there is the SEO function. So when I discuss about the SEO function, how you can add the SEO URL. I will show you that things the live example later. Okay. And the general, we don't need this one. For now, we just create the main category as a t-shirt. So for the reasons, we don't need to do anything on here. Now click on the save. So our category is now created. So if you want to find out the category, like there are so many categories on here. I'm just selected the three. And you can see that is our category is now created. OK, so it's pretty good. So now we just want to create some of the subcategory for the t-shirt. OK, 
for adding this i am just click on the add new and for now i just created the main category as a t-shirt and i just add some of the sub category for the t-shirt like that would be the man's t-shirt that would be the woman's t-shirt and the kids t-shirt okay but now i'm just adding that men's t-shirt so i just added as a man's t-shirt i don't need to add any description on here and put the meta tag title because that is a required so there is the meta description and in the data so that is very much important so we just want to make that things for the sub category of the t-shirt okay that is the t-shirt is our main category but now in the parents we just select the t-shirt if you search as a t-shirt you can see there is a t-shirt is comes up on here but now you have to select this one onto this area and now there is the filter so i already told you when i discuss about the filter then it will be very much clear to you how that filter exactly work but now you don't need to do anything on here okay so now i just want to save it and here you can see there is a t-shirt is our main category and men's t-shirt is the subcategory of the t-shirt so if you want to create some of the sub sub category like in the men's t-shirt there is a solid t-shirt it might be the print t-shirt or the full slip t-shirt okay so there is will be the sub sub category of the t-shirt so if you want to create the sub sub category like i just copy this solid t-shirt and i just want to add new categories on here and for now i just first of all in the category name i just put the solid t-shirt that means that is will be the solid t-shirt and that should be the sub category of that mass t-shirt okay so that is the things we have to do i just paste that things as a meta tag title and in the parents now we have to choose the this one that is, means the mass t-shirt okay so i am search as a mass t-shirt And you can see there is a t-shirt and the man's t-shirt so that's the things we just want to add so i'm just select this one so now that is actually the solid t-shirt is the sub category for the man's t-shirt okay and now i save it so now if you search it on here like now you can see there is a t-shirt is main category there is a man's t-shirt is the sub category of the t-shirt and that is the solid t-shirt is sub category of the man's t-shirt and the sub sub category of the main t-shirt okay so that's the our main category and there is a sub category and there is a sub sub category so i hope you can understand about it so for now i just add that things on here so now your task is to create another sub category for the mass t-shirt and the sub category for the mass t-shirt and create some of the sub sub category for the individual every sub categories okay so i think you can understand about it so that's how you can actually manage your category and sub category for your store so in the next video i will show you how you can add the product into this category so that's the category we created how you can add the product into this category i will show you with the live example so thank you for watching this video keep learning